Okay, everybody, thanks for sticking around. We appreciate it. Uh, I think everybody else was at a barbecue tonight. <laughs> but uh, they missed out. Um, I'd like to thank Craig for, uh, for having us here and for, uh, for having this uh, wonderful um, uh, venue. And uh, it really is a nice, a nice venue to play in. And uh, I played here last week with Elliot and uh, Mark Filsinger and Jim Coleman. And uh, I don't know, I, I, I'd been struggling all summer to write any music and all of a sudden uh, a whole new bunch of music flooded in. And uh, so this is a, a, a five-part suite that I wrote called Revolution Blues, written uh, especially for tonight. And um, I want to dedicate it to a couple of friends of mine, great musicians, uh, one who passed away last year, Reynolds Scott, who was a great baritone saxophonist. He played with Sun Ra's band, and, and we had many bands together in the Buffalo area. And I was thinking about... Uh, I was thinking about Ray on the way down. I hadn't intended to, to dedicate the piece to him, but when I got here, I thought about the fact that Ed was playing electric bass, and I don't think Ed and I have ever played together where he's played electric bass. And, um, and I thought about what Ray would have said about that, and what he would have said was, yeah, it gives it a different sound. And that was the way Ray was. He was always, always thinking about he was always putting a positive spin on the situation and making you look at it a new way. Yep. And so that made me really want to just mention him tonight and, and bring him into this, uh, into this event. And then the other was a, a great friend of mine who just died uh, recently, Dave Alderson. He was a fantastic trumpet player and composer who uh, was on the scene in Buffalo in the uh, 1980s when I first started playing uh, on the professional scene in Buffalo. And Dave uh, had, and I had a group with Gr Greg Piontek, who was also unfortunately passed away, um, called Dinosaur. And I was like 18 years old. And these guys were like mature musicians and they brought me under their wings and taught me what to do with this music. And uh, Dave unfortunately just passed away up in, uh, up in Northern New York. And, and so I want to dedicate this this piece of music to those two great friends and great musicians who I learned so much from and had such a great positive uh, influence on me and the music that I make. So uh, Revolution Blues dedicated to Ray Scott and Dave Alderson. And to piggyback on that, Ray Scott, when I first moved to town, gave me some of the first gigs that anybody gave me here. So. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about Ray Scott. You know, I was looking for some the other day and I found a pile of his charts that he'll, he'll pop up in the weirdest ways sometimes. Yep.
Revolution Blues for John Bacon. All is vanity. The battle weary hear the repeating, fading sound of revolution within themselves, in their world, and wonder why it was. And the painted ponies go up and down. What vision captured their souls and whither their efforts to what end the suffering? were captives on the carousel of time. And what does their wonder signify? What answer might they expect? And from what source? To everything, turn, turn, turn. There is a season. While intuition tells them there is no circumference to us, and to lift their hearts and go round and round and round in the circle game unto the next revolution, to do something without knowing how or why to draw a new circle.
start a little later, so that all you can do this. Thank you very much.